Good evening, America, and welcome to Real Bad News. I'm Will Fox. Today on our broadcast, we're going to take a special look at our presidential candidate, Donald Trump's economic policies. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to declare our economic independence once again by imposing a 35% tariff on Mexican goods and a 45% tariff on Chinese goods. That man over there is stealing our jobs, and I plan to bring them back with these tariffs. Well, it looks like there's some confusion about tariffs. A tariff is a tax on imported goods into the market. With Trump's policy, this would raise the cost of goods by 35 and 45%. So Ryan's going to explain for us why you would want to do that if it raises the price of goods. Thanks, Will. Uh, tariffs help the U.S. compete with lower costs of production in other countries due to low foreign wages. For example, in Mexico, the average worker makes $5 in a day. In China, they make about $9 in a day. In the U.S., the national minimum wage is $7.25 an hour. As you can see, tariffs make production in the U.S. more feasible. Not only do tariffs protect domestic employment by removing the incentive to outsource jobs, tariffs also protect consumer health. An example of this, in 2007, there was a national recall on many Chinese products. Why? Because lead was found in them. As you can see, by imposing tariffs, U.S. consumer health is protected. Thanks, Ryan, for your help. To further elaborate on his own economic policy, we've asked Donald Trump himself to come into the studio for an interview. Let's see how that went. Welcome to the show, Mr. Trump. We're really happy to have you. Thanks well, for having me. Let's just get right to it. Um, are, the, are the rumors true? Do you hate trade? Well, see, as a self-made business man, myself, self-made, the number one problem I see is these foreign companies using predatory tactics coming and dumping, which is selling products below the cost of production. America just can't compete with these kind of unethical practices without tariffs. Well, Mr. Trump, have you considered maybe you thought about the opportunity cost? What opportunity cost? Well, for example, allowing free and open trade and open market allows for global market expansion and wealth. No. And that reduces poverty and unemployment domestically no. and globally. No. We're talking about America here and making America great. Well, do you think America could be great if we were at war? Countries that create mutual wealth together seldom no. go to war no. against each other. See, no. That's, well, we're talking about America Mr. here. Mr. Trump, for, for example, what's your favorite fast food place? I, I don't know. Panda Express. Okay, awesome. Panda Express. For example, allowing free and open trade in an open market allows for the flow of ideas. And that creates scientific, no. technological, and industrial advancements. And that's what makes America great. So without free and open without free and open market, you can throw Panda Express right out the window because there would be no cultural diversity. Maybe I'll rethink my terrible policy. Alright, well, thanks for coming in, Mr. Trump. That's all we got time for, but it's been a pleasure. Well, today we've been, we've been able to analyze the opportunity costs of tariffs, and we hope that all can take it into careful consideration. Tune in tomorrow night as we analyze the hidden secrets of Hillary Clinton. That's all for tonight, America. I'm Logan, I'm Ronnie. I was the news anchor. I helped write the script. I helped edit it. And I single-handedly finished the last piece of pizza. Stay sexy, America. Hello, my name is Ryan Kwok. I helped edit the script, make the video. I played the part of the random Asian man racistly attacked and the infield reporter. Hey there, I'm Eli Dieterich. I did lots of stuff in this video. I portrayed Donald Trump, helped edit the video, wrote the script, and bought pizza.